Now, one more thing about the generational piece, and we talked about this last night. Imagine a big smile. So the statistics right now, and this is called a hard trend because it's not gonna change. There's physical number of people on planet, and they're pretty much gonna stay that way. So baby boomers are here, Gen X is here, and Gen Y is here. So what's happening is, as the baby boomers age and begin to retire, which is what the big shift change is about, right? The changing of the guard from the current leadership to the next generation. There's only one Gen Xer for every two of you baby boomers. There's only one Gen Xer for every two of you baby boomers. So as that age goes on, what's gonna happen? Where's your next generation of leadership going to come from? That's why the talent war is also different this time. Like I hear firms go, this is like it was 10 years ago when we had that talent war. No, it's not. This one's gonna be a lot worse. And I'm seeing it. We work with a lot of major Fortune 500 finance teams. Their number one issue, talent recruitment, retention, talent development. That's what they're focusing on. Look at the large firms. They're doing the same thing. I'm seeing firms that are beginning to recruit in college back into sophomore years and some are starting to think about freshman years. Pretty soon, they'll be recruiting at the womb, right? If somebody will be pregnant, they'll be like, I wanna sign that person up. Let me, let me, I'm gonna watch them through, through grade school and high school and get them into college and, and make them a great CPA. But what that means is, as we anticipate what's gonna happen with that trend, you're gonna have to start thinking about where that next generation of leadership is gonna come from. Now, some will say, I'll do some of the boomerang. I'll take a retiring baby boomer and bring them back on a part-time consulting capacity. A lot of firms are doing that, smart idea. You're gonna fa certainly fast track your Gen Xers and you might have to start looking and fast tracking deeper in the bench down to the Gen Y and look for high potentials and bring them up into leadership groups. But you're gonna have to think about that smile because it's real and it's gonna get more and more acute. Some are saying the talent war will be as bad as it was in World War II when all the able-bodied men went across overseas to fight the war and all the women left had to be, learn new jobs and factories and everything else to run all those uh, things to equip and run the society. That was pretty intense. Anyhow, I think it's happening. We're seeing five, what I'd call signals of this shift, right, caused by these big, big three trends and it's manifesting in five key areas that are starting to change or shift as I would like to say. So leadership, learning, technology, workplace, and generations. They're the five pieces.